Is the human in today's society too trustful or is our distrust keeping us from making new experiences? Is our gut feeling that informs us if something is strange protecting us or keeping us from making new friends? Is it better to be outgoing or should we lock ourselves away to make sure nothing happens to us? These are the big existential questions that the movie Speak No Evil is asking and also tries to answer. What this means you can find out at the end in the spoiler zone if you want to know. Otherwise I give you a spoiler free review of this movie. So if you'd like to learn more about it, join me for this review video. Björn and Louise are a happy Danish couple and together with their daughter Agnes, they are on their vacation in Tuscany. There they are making the acquaintance of a very nice Dutch couple, Patrick and Karin, and of course their son Abel, who in complete contrast to his parents always seems to be unhappy. But the parents explain that this is due to his special condition. Abel has some difficulty speaking. He has what you call congenital aglossia, meaning basically he's born without a tongue. Or with such a short stump of a tongue that he barely if ever can utter a word. A few weeks later, Patrick and Karin are reaching out to the Danish couple, inviting them to spend some time with them in their home in the Netherlands. How are you? We were just talking the other day how nice it was spending time with you this summer. We would love to invite you to come to visit us. As Björn and Patrick instantly clicked, he is completely excited. But it took him a while to convince Louise, who also liked the couple, but thinks it's a little bit weird for them to reach out out of the blue. But of course, not after long, she lets herself being convinced to go there. And once they arrive, everything seems to be quite nice, but soon some strange little things are slipping in. Like the fact that their daughter Agnes has to sleep in the same room as Abel. Even though both are quite young, not even teens yet, Louise feels a little bit weirded out about that. And then there is the fact that Louise is a vegetarian. But the Dutch couple is constantly ignoring that and trying to force meat on her. This is for you. I'm a vegetarian. I insist. <laughs> I insist. <laughs> this and some other inconsistencies makes even Björn feel weird about the whole arrangement. And when his gut was telling him that something is wrong here, he and his family were packing their bags in the middle of the night and left. But as Agnes can find her bunny, her favorite plaything, they have to turn back to pick it up. Someone left without saying goodbye. Once back inside, of course, their hosts are awake and furious. They really cannot understand why Björn and Louise have left. And when the Danish couple is explaining to them what they experienced as being strange, everything is basically explained away with the call out of saying, why haven't you just said something earlier? Then we could have worked it out sooner. Happy with Patrick and Karin's explanations, Björn and Louise decided to give it another shot. No one's forcing you to stay, but I really hope you do because today is gonna be a great day. Okay, let's stop the synopsis here to not give away how this movie will end. Because at this point in the story, it could go into many ways, you know? And this is exactly what the movie is playing with. Because from the moment Björn and Louise set foot into Patrick and Karin's home, things are starting to get weird. The whole atmosphere is starting to get ominous and fateful. And you really don't know what to expect. Would they trust their gut feeling and leave? Or would that mean cutting a friendship short that might be the best thing that ever happened to them in their whole life? It is really tough to rate this movie and to talk about it without giving too much away. And I tell you, better not watch the trailer and better not read too much about the movie because most sources and reviewers are giving too much away from the get-go. The same basically happened to everyone in the movie theater when the introduction was given by the organizers and also by some details given by the director in a short clip before the movie started. I will not repeat this here, but I will tell you in the spoiler zone at the end of this video. Because I think they didn't even consider that to be a spoiler, what they told us. But in a way it was. Let me just say that the movie is really doing a good job on playing with your expectations and you will change what you think many times before the movie reaches its conclusion. As I cannot and don't want to say much more at this point, let's go to the rating. 
And I also tried to make it short here. So the rating for me was very, very tough this time due to the fact that I was really majorly spoiled at the beginning of a movie. So I basically had to ignore everything I was spoiled with to make sure I am fair when I rate this movie. Because the movie is great. And you cannot blame the movie for the fact that you have been spoiled. So imagining that I did not know what I was told, I would score this one with 8 out of 10 points. And I really really implore you, if you want to see this movie, to not go into the spoiler zone that is following in a few seconds, if you have not seen the movie yet. Because what I tell you there would also spoil your experience. But before we go there, let me ask you to like and share this video if you have enjoyed it so far. And if you are no subscriber yet, maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. And now, if you don't mind spoilers or have already watched the movie, please follow me into the spoiler zone. Okay, let's start with a big spoiler that was given to us. The movie was introduced by the organizers and by the director in his introduction clip as one of the darkest and meanest movies that ever came out of Denmark. And they also read us some comments from the audience that has seen the movie before at some other festivals, where they called the director a nihilistic asshole and stuff like that. So it was pretty much told us that the movie will end as dark as you can imagine. With that in mind, of course, if you watch the movie and you see all those moments where you're not sure which direction it will go because the movie was keeping it ambivalent, you still knew from those remarks that this cannot end well. You were pretty much clear about the fact that they will all die or something along those lines will happen. Something very, very disturbing. So you were sure that it would not be a big friendship that is coming out of the whole thing. And with that being said, the solution of the movie is this. While looking around at the last day they were supposed to stay there, Björn found a room that was paved with pictures of other families, where the one connecting factor was that every picture was showing Patrick and Karin, but every time with another couple and every time with different kids, including their own. And then to make sure that there is no ambivalence anymore, Björn finds Abel's dead body drifting in the family's swimming pool. He then actually manages to get away with his family and they almost made it, but then their car broke down and of course Patrick was already following them. As Björn made the error of not catching his family up, likely not to upset Agnes, who is still just a small kid, they didn't really know what was going on and even went with Patrick, while Björn was away looking for help. The cruel conclusion of the movie is that Patrick and Karin were taking over as parents, so to speak, of Agnes, cutting out her tongue while their parents were still watching, and then forced the parents out and stoned them to death. Before he dies, Björn is asking, why are you doing this to us? And Patrick just says, because you let us. I guess that was meant to tell us that they should have just listened to their gut feeling, that they should not have been too polite to just leave, because I guess the main motivator for them to give the Dutch couple another chance was that they felt so badly about leaving and not talking to them before that they felt guilty about leaving, which made them stay. And the fact that the feeling of guilt is even overpowering your survival instincts is the main fact that I guess this movie wants to bring across. But it also, like the director said, just wanted to be one very mean movie. And that it achieved. But as I said in the beginning of the spoiler zone, for the audience who was already introduced to that fact before they saw the movie, all the gut punches that would come to us if we would have watched the movie without knowing it were now gone. We were just expecting something like this and we were just not sure how exactly it would end and what the mean and evil twist at the end would be. We never even considered that they would get away. And this is something that we were robbed of by this stupid comments in the beginning. The lucky audience who would go into this movie would be completely surprised by this gut punch at the end of a movie and would feel so down about it. And I guess the impact would have been much higher because for us, we were just prepared for it. And so the ending was not only unsurprising, but also unimpactful. Which is a pity, because the movie, as I said, is really great and really would have worked well if it wasn't for those stupid spoilers. And due to those reasons, I really, really was angry about being spoiled before, because it really took away a lot from this movie. 
What about you? Would you also have been angry if you would have been spoiled like me? Or would have made no big difference for you? Have you seen the movie already and have you heard something about it before and were also spoiled? Or were you able to watch it without a preconceived notion and were actually surprised and shocked by the ending? If you have now watched the spoiler zone without watching the movie before, are you still interested in watching it? Or do you feel that it is now spoiled for you as well? And please don't say I didn't warn you. Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.